Hi, this is Charles with a, a brief uh, introduction to the game uh, expansion pack, Combat Commander Normandy, uh, designed by Chad Jensen. It's got uh, 17 new scenarios, 8 new battle maps, and 176 new counters. Um, it's one of my favorite expansions so far, um, just because I'm so familiar with the Normandy campaign that I really enjoy just looking at these scenario maps and and uh, I understand the history a little more of these. Um, last night I got a chance to play Pegasus Bridge and uh, it had a great feel to it. Um, as I said, there's a lot of great scenarios in here. 17 scenarios, which is pretty awesome. And it follows the campaign of uh, D-Day. So here's a look at some of the scenario maps. And Here's a look at the counters. You can see that. So that down. We've got star shells, which are usually in Combat Commander Pacific, but there's some nice uh, rules as far as nighttime fighting and beaches, and um, a couple other things I'll go over in a second. Here's what the maps kind of look like. Ah, uh, this is Pegasus Bridge. So as you know, the horse of gliders come and land in through here. The British troopers come up, and the, the Germans are protecting the bridge. And there's only a few units out here. The rest of the guys are in town doing who knows what. And then on turn three, the reinforcements come from this back line here and move forward and push towards the bridge. Um, a couple machine guns up here, a pillbox across from the bridge. So it's... Not much on the German side, but they've got a lot of uh, defenses set up there. Not sure which beach scenario this is. But you can see this is a, got a couple hedgehogs down at the bottom there. Ridge. So uh, taking a quick look at the playbook, the, the rules are very light. There's a campaign system in here. Uh, you've got some new bocage rules as far as getting through a bocage. Indirect mortar fire by using um, scouts who are uh, not really leaders could be, but can be used to spot for mortars. Um, if you have a radio in a scenario and you use smoke, you break your radio afterwards. Very simple. Uh, the night command is basically the dis distance between the guy attacking and the target uh, is added to the hindrance. So if you're three spaces away, you add three hindrance to your attacks. Um, very simple. The, uh, let's see, star shells can be used and basically illuminate a two hex radius to eliminate that hindrance. So if you have a radio and you get an artillery uh, strike in, you can use star shells instead. Those are removed with the breeze. There's some uh, beach cost here, which is one and a half movement. And uh, shingles, which are these edges here, and there's some rules apply to that. Um, I need to go into it more, but it seems very similar to the hedgerows, uh, where you're, if you're adjacent to it, it helps. And uh, communications trench, which is new, I believe. Hedgehogs and uh, satchels against bunker bunkers. Um, kill it on a double six, but that would be very difficult to get. Um, it's it's great game. The whole series is great. I particularly like this one because I am actually an old Memoir 44 player, and I've played Pegasus Bridge hundreds of times, teaching new players that scenario. But uh, this really kind of let me go into the history a little more. Um, I like Memoir 44 that it goes fast-paced enough to where you can actually feel the assault attack. But this one is very, um, I, I'd have to say, in the Combat Commander fashion, a very painful as you plan and plot and you try to get your cards and you're trying to move forward and you're out in the open and you're stuck. It's very slow moving in the sense that every move that you make can put you in a bad situation and you're just staying there taking attacks and stuff. Um, Combat Commander is one of my favorite games. And uh, I'd, I'd probably say right now it's my top game. And this expansion pack e even adds more to it. And I just really enjoy this, um, just having this expansion pack for this game. So I hope you get a chance to play it. And uh, see you soon.